Okay, this is a video about how to set the side bias balls up on the Origin Live Arms. And it's a slightly controversial area, but the thing to bear in mind with this is that whatever system you use, it's always going to be a compromise at some point on the record. So, the way that I personally like to set up side bias is generally by listening rather than using test records and the like. And I normally listen to a track, not dead centre, but just slightly in from dead centre. So about a third of the way out from the inner grooves. And the reason for that is because the modulation in the inner grooves is much more severe for alignment um, than the outer. Uh, as you get further out, the tracking issues become much easier to cope with than on the inner track. So I, th I personally think it's best to bias the side bias towards performing best on the inner tracks. That's, that's my logic, but everyone has their own preference. A lot of people may want to do just halfway across the record. So I listen, I set, I find a good track and I just listen to it um, on the, on this center track, sorry, on the, on the track. And then, having done that, I will adjust the side bias out a little bit and see what it sounds like at that position. Okay, so when we come to have our second listen, I'll move the side bias out by about 10 millimeters or something. That's quite an extreme difference. So we'll listen to it again, same position, same start. And, and you can tell whether it's going to snap into focus. If the music snaps into focus in terms of separation and positioning of instruments, singers, etc., that's when the side bias is at its best. So that's what we're listening for. And you can tell whether it gets, if it gets worse, then you want to go back to your original position. If it's better, then maybe carry on and move it out a little bit further. But whatever final position you end up at, I want to talk about how we adjust the wire loop because that is um, going to be fairly helpful really. So let's just say for the sake of argument that this is our ideal position. The, the wire loop can swing to, you know, to, it's got a various positions you can, uh, you can put it at. But the ideal position you want to end up at is such that the, 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 the wire, or a bit of fishing gutters, whatever it is, is at right angles to the rod here. Okay? And it, it's, it's going to work fine even if it's quite a bit out from that. But that is the ideal position because it means that you're at, you're, the tracking force is most constant across the whole record if you have it at that angle. Okay, it's just a little bit of a fine tuning detail. Um, and some people may point out, oh, well, now you've done that, it'll have altered the, um, the position of, for, for the, the ideal position for this. And yes, it will have, but the, it will be a tiny, tiny fraction of the, um, the adjustment. And I don't bother to, 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 to go and fine tune that anymore because I know it makes practically no difference at all. Okay, so that finishes the section on how to set up the side bias. Thank you for listening.